There you go. Hi guys. Hello. How are we all doing today? It's John. Hi Daddy. And it's a Monday. Yes, it's you Monday. You can just call me the bag of frogs now. Bag of frogs. Medez. Medez a bag, no, bag of frogs. bag of frogs. Bag of frogs. Ma Mary bag of frogs. So anyway, uh, myself and Mary here, um, <laughs> we've got our uh, bench update Monday. It's yeah. Monday the uh, 25th of June, June 2018. And, uh, and it's time for our weekly update. Oh. And uh, the weekly update this week is all about the Bedford QLR truck. Yes, I have it, I have, uh, wow. I have it all constructed. Oh, um, I have a good bit of the painting done um, well it's mostly painted uh, actually it's I could say it's all painted really um, I have a couple of bits and pieces I want to add into it some bits around the way some bits I have here around and some bits that I've added to the kit as well on the inside just to make it just to build it up and make it look a bit interesting okay. so let's get down to the bench let's have a look at what I've been up to and um, we can talk about it further from there okay. and then we'll come back to myself and abs and we'll do our uh, my name's not abby my name's mary bag of frogs mary bag of frogs <laughs> we'll go back to mary bag of frogs then myself and mary bag of frogs for the uh the fruit and truck at the fruit and truck it truck at truck it i like truck at so anyway so let's go on to the bench let's have a look at this uh, bedford qlr and what i've done to it and you know how it's coming together okay Right, here we are, we're <laughs> at the bench and there's the QLR, okay, wow. all nicely constructed. Pretty details. Okay, and I'm going to have the, um, I'm going to fit the top on the cab, I'm not going to glue the cab down, mm -hmm. uh, show you why in a second, and I'm not going to glue this top down. Okay, the main top of the uh, piece down because there's loads of bits and little bits and pieces inside. Some little bits and pieces that I have added inside, just to make it interesting and to make it look uh, you like know, a display. Yeah, to, to make it look busy and make it look better than what they actually give you. So it's a kind of um, uh, make it look like they've just been out for lunch for a while. <laughs> out to lunch for a while, but just make it look uh, used and things. Do okay? it to subway. So, as is, I've got to weather it and all that. So. You know, there's plenty more to do to it. Plenty, plenty more to do to it. All right. So, with, for starters, we'll just pop off the cab. What? 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 Okay. So the cab itself, we have all the detail painting done. I didn't know that could happen. Inside in the cab. Okay. So if I hold my, if I can hold my hand steady there for a bit, you can see it's got a fire extinguisher. The uh. seats, all the uh, knobs and dials are there, painted up, and everything else. The glass is in. The glass that one well. is down. Okay, so that's that's our cab. That one's fully up. That one's down because yeah. it's like really good. Yeah, so I got a one window down, and I went off and I took off all the masking, and I shouldn't have because I got to go glass coat it and all that. So I got to remask the whole flipping well, thing just glossy, all over again. Yeah, know? but the yeah, but the glass will go into the windows then. You'll be able to see it on it, and it doesn't it doesn't go go well. You have to kind of mask them off, right? So now you can see the engine. Okay, so it's quite nice. That's the engine. Why is it in the front? Because that's where the engines are. What? Yeah, the engine for the the truck. All right, and for the Did back you know of it, we we'll take off the top. <gasps> okay. I want to see the detail. And there's the detail. Oh, there's the a hat. The okay. first thing I recognise with the so hat. So I'll just move the camera down and in. In a and bit, out. In a bit. There we go. And as you can see, I'll get a pointy stick. A pointy stick. It is a screwdriver. <laughs> right. Um, things that I have added. Right. I've added the map cup. There's a set of binoculars there. A water bottle. A bit of paper. A pen. We got paper inside How here. There are actually you maps. Make that pen? Just a bit, of, bit of stretched sprue. A little bit of stretched that's stretched sprue and painted event. it painted it black. Like, that's We've got a, a British helmet here. A Brody helmet. Yep. We've got some paper First thing here. I recognised. <laughs> In here also we've got another bits of paper, another pen, and we've got a, a microphone. microphone. <gasps> now, other, other thing, I, I've added this thing up here as well. What's I that thing? I don't even know what it is, but I added it because it looks nice, okay? <laughs> um, it looks nice. 
what more I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add some chairs and some headphones. Mm. I think it might be a first aid. Yeah, bit. they're on the way, courtesy of Alex. Alex up in Scotland. Go, He's sending me on a few bits and pieces for the inside of this. Um, and some other few bits and pieces that I'm going to add to it myself that I haven't sort of, you know, I'll find them around and I'll stick Wait, them in. Wait, there's a little cubby there. Did you want? Yeah. No, no, no. That was all part of it. Um, okay. The little cubbies and things. So, <laughs> as you can see, it is a quite a, a nicely detailed set. Yeah. Okay. The inside of that is actually quite nice. I am really nice. chuffed with the inside nice. of that. Okay. We've got our sort of little telephone exchange. It That's was. what that is. A PABX. I like that. PABX. What PABX stands for? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> But, um, I love when I use words that I don't know. And we got our underneath side all nicely done. Oh my god, it's well. so long. So is that, is, is so the rusty ones like exhausts? Yeah, we've got our exhaust, which is rusty, and our leaf springs. I've rusted up them as well a little bit. So they've and been. Our cable reels allowed. at the back are black. Well, they're metal and they get you know moved around and it, they, get they do rusty. get rust up a bit and dirty a bit. If they don't like. clean it. Yeah, so I got to do some some underneath weathering and that and stuff. So there's still plenty of plenty to do in the weathering side, but like I said, I want to get the inside basically finished off first and then start off the weathering. Because there's nothing worse than sort of doing all your weathering and then going, oh, I should have added this or oh, I should have added that. And this way, hopefully, we'll uh, avoid all that. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to get started on the die off for it. And leave that to the side. And with that sitting there the whole time, I can think of things and go, oh yeah, I'll add this or I'll add that. And you know yourself. To go with the so dial. So like, for if the you put like a tree falling down, you might put like, I don't yeah, know, well the pieces of tree on at the top. Yeah. That's, that's the example, but that's you probably won't do that. I probably won't. You never know. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the Bedford QLR. Now let's get on to this uh, dial. And what I'm going to do for the dial, well, first of all, I'm going to have a quick cup of, sup of my coffee out of my hangout mug. Yes, the hangout. You're all welcome to join the hangout. I come in sometimes. Okay, like there's John night. the Sniper, is the nickname that uh, Simon's after giving me. All right, and on the other side of the mug, then it's uh, John the Sniper, hangout mug. Uh, the hangout is, the link is up on Facebook, on um, 135th scale diorama Bill's Facebook page. Click on the link, all you need is a webcam and a microphone, and uh, you're quite willing, quite, quite willing, you're quite welcome to join us at any stage for that, okay? Yes. So. It actually means uh, yes, because I am. Um, what am I going to do with the dial for this, okay? I'm going to use this, sorry. like I said, which is the uh, surplus diorama building materials in 135th scale. you can scale. get on eBay. Diorama yeah. in a box, and it's from Simon Kemp's uh, surplus uh, models. It's his, uh, that's his company. <laughs> company. Yeah, it's a company. Well, we, we call it Simon's company. <laughs> so it's uh, Simon's thing, and you put it all together, and you got a diorama in a box. I've already unboxed it, so I don't need to go into showing you exactly what's in it. And, yeah, what? what yeah. and originally, I was going to put it onto one of my um, chalkboard bases, but I decided against that, and I'm going to use this base instead. Okay. Now, I just have to bring the camera up a bit so you can, you can get it in. Right. Oops, it is. Well, this base is, it, it, it was a base I used for something else, okay? I'm never really 100% happy with it. It looks like... So all i got to do is just scrape all this stuff off. It's only a bit of uh, dust clay. It'll come off easy enough. So i get all that off. And then I can uh, lay out... Work with it. Yeah, I, then I can lay out my thing with that, right? So what it's going to be... So, hold on a second now. I just have to adjust the camera angle there. So excuse the squeaky the max squeak, squeak. It's over. Okay. Back this way a little bit. Do apologise. Sorry for the short inconvenience. I will uh. give you comedy. Cancel the comedy. Right. <laughs> so, <coughs> with this, this is going to be to the front of it. It's going to be cobblestones. Oh and at the back here, we're going to have a wall. Yay! So we're going to have a little wall section back here. Okay, with a, with a corner here, wall, footpath around it. This is a bit of the road with this here. We're going to have two telegraph poles. Um, and the 
from here, from at the back here, we've got the uh, the, the roll, the uh, cable reels. So we're going to bring a bit of cable from one of these up to one of the uh, the poles. So is it like charging? No, it's a <laughs> telegram telephone pole. Oh, so, so it's trying to get so it so hooked in, the yeah, hooked in for the. So this is the communications thing. So it's got radios and telephones and things like that. So it needs so it needs to click on. Is that why it's there? No, exactly. So they can link <laughs> it up to telephones, existing telephone lines, or they can, with the reels, they can lay their own telephone lines, and um, they've got the radios then to communicate with uh, with all the other units and subunits and all that kind of thing. Okay. So that's basically the idea. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to get started on this. Uh, possibly tomorrow get it cleaned off this evening and then get started on tomorrow and I will be doing videos on how I do Thanks. all this okay so don't forget to stay tuned for uh, videos on the um, on the dio the making of the dio and the making of this uh, surplus uh, diorama building oh. materials diorama in a box and okay for yeah and to finish off of uh, that of course and the finish off of the finish off of that and anything that I've, I've added to it and uh, subtracted to it and all that kind of stuff so that's about it for the update part of it let's get uh, back on to uh, myself and uh, Mary Bag of Frogs Mary Bag of Frogs here behind me and we'll do the uh, the fruit and the chocolate right so that was it that was our update um, uh -huh. the Bedford QLR as you can see is a uh, coming along nicely I'm quite happy with how that's working out um, I'm more than happy with how that's working out actually that's it it's coming along beautifully and um, we'll be starting like I said on the um, diorama in a box from Simon's uh, surplus builds we thing. we yeah I'm gonna do a little thing. I know <laughs> you, you're you're my muse no that means my, my, no, my, my bag of frogs not a muse <laughs> <laughs> you're my I'm not a mule, I'm a bad frog. <laughs> you're my inspiration, okay? My froggy inspiration. So anyway, it's time for chocolate and fruit. Cho chocolate and fruit, okay? Froggy uh, Chocolate bar, I found this no. one. And I found it, uh, it, it, it was unusual. Because <laughs> the company that make this usually make ice cream. Yeah. Yummy! It's Except I don't like this type of ice cream. Magnum chocolate bar. Yeah, a magnum chocolate bar with almonds. Okay. So it's a almond magnum god, it's not almond, it's almond. Magnum chocolate bar. Almond, almond not almond. Almond. <laughs> almond. Well, whatever you really want to say. As Simon Kemp would say, whatever you want to call it, that's okay with me. But do you want to call it almond or almond? Almond? Okay. That just sounds awkward. Yeah. So, um, I'm back. Magnum Chocolate Confectionery Company dot com. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, it does have the uh, like in Ireland it's under HB in England it's Walls I think is the uh, the ice cream. So yeah, got a Magnum Chocolate, chocolate almond. almond. So they're quite almond nice. Almond uh, That's the chocolate and the fruit. Edward and it's pink lady apple, which is awkward because frogs love apples. So. I can eat it to my family. <laughs> what, 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 what am I going to do with it? Seriously, that's what, 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 what can you do with that? Right. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Do you know what? I think it's time you went back into, back to your cage. <laughs> the bag of fucks doesn't have a cage. Yeah, you have a cage. My room. Yeah. Or downstairs. Oh, your room, wait. I think we'll have to lock you wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, now I'm back fucked, because fucked like that. Now you're a pink lady. <laughs> but anyway, let's... <laughs> No, I don't think lady. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, lads, that's it for this week's update. We'll catch you again next week and during the week. Hopefully. Hope you have, hope you, hopefully. Hopefully me. Hopefully you'll have a nice <laughs> week. You stop forgetting with me. <laughs> You think this is just for just for the for the video? No, this is what she's like the whole time. Seriously. And stuff won't go. Mad. And stuff won't go. And I just. What? Never shut up. Even your teacher <laughs> says, Abby, do you ever just? Will you just ever? She even says, "Don't, I don't want to come to Abby."
Yeah, we don't need running commentary on everything, but she does. So anyway, guys, that's it for this week's bum. That was fun, uh, don't blame me. Stay tuned to the channel for future updates and future videos and future builds. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for anybody who has subscribed. I'm uh, chuffed to bits of tons and tons of subscribers. Uh, almost at 2,000 subscribers now. What? Yeah, 1,911. 1911. So. I'm going to go crazy! Absolutely fabulous with the uh, the, the response from the uh, from subscribers. So that's it, lads. Like I said, uh, don't forget, like I always say, and like Abby always says, go, go and buy and yourself a kit, kit build, build it, and enjoy, enjoy it. it. By the way, today's sponsors, both of them. Any chocolate and apple today. Any chocolate and apple in your fridge now, our sponsor. <laughs> You know what's the difference between an apple and, a, and an onion? Well... Uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. An onion a day keeps everybody away. Mm. And I'll leave you with that talk.